Hello. Welcome back to the North Mankato Community Update. I'm Anna Brown, and I'm joined by City Administrator John Herrenstein. Good afternoon. And Mayor Mark Dean. Good afternoon. How are you guys? Oh, it's a beautiful, balmy day in southern Minnesota today. Yes, it is. Aren't you glad that it's inside? Our, our shoot is inside today, so we're not outside melting in the heat advisory? Today, inside the library, it's a beautiful place. You know, the library is always a beautiful place, and we're glad to be down here, but it's particularly nice today on a, on, with its nice air conditioning. I don't know. Comfort. I always get uh, cautious complaining about the heat because I think a few months ago we were talking about how cold it was, so I feel... <laughs> A little hypocritical, but Never uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. that's right, right. But it is warm. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. So we're here at the North Mankato Taylor Library, where their summer reading program is in full swing. Tales and Tales is the name of the event. Yeah. Um, what? events do they have going on all month? Well, we've got lots of things going on at the library. You know, there's uh, we're having the Art Splash, which will be up at South Central on uh, on, June 5th, on June 19th. Yep. And then later that night is your opportunity to go out and uh, see the Moondogs. It's yes. a fundraiser for the library. Um, for every $10 ticket that you buy, $5 goes to the library. So if you'd like to support the library um, and the, all the programming things we're doing, this is a great night. And get the chance to check out all the revisions they've done at the Moondogs field. Yeah. They've added some new seating options up there there's some new concession areas there's a bunch of things going out there so a great night to uh, go out and check out the moondogs and quite honestly they're doing a lot better than the twins are right now <laughs> so if you want to see better some baseball. winning baseball <laughs> right. you might want to go right. and see it check right. out the moondogs see some, see some victory I know, I know they're also having some picnic in the park events on fridays throughout the community so check the website um, for them and then also uh, they're going to be doing movies in the park at spring lake park uh, they'll probably start at dusk and uh, also check the website for any details. Yeah, so that June 19th is a big day for the library. There's right. a lot of things going on, yep. so you've got all kinds of opportunities. You can do library stuff from morning till after dusk. <laughs> you know, you can't necessarily see it now, but I see monkeys hanging from the, uh, the rafters and some great decoration. So a fun environment to bring the kids down for it. And, uh, and promote literacy, really. Uh, you know, get the kids reading and keep those skills up during the summer so when they go back to school, they're ready to to get at it. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. So it's a great a great time yeah. to come down and check out the library, especially on a warm day like today. Right. Yep. Another option, another place to go besides the library is the pool, place yes. to cool down on yeah. a hot day. Um, that is open now in full swing and programs happening and all that, right? Right. So there's lots of things going on at the pool. We have lots of programming planned. Uh, there are some adult nights, I yes, believe, scheduled for those of us that are, don't want to uh, mingle during the day. There are right. some adult <laughs> things going on. Um, and so, but, uh, you know, the cool, refreshing on a hot day like today and yeah. and bring the kids down check it all out the ride the uh, zip line is still awful fun yeah and uh, and the slides and everything else going on down yeah there. no a lot of a lot of activities for youth and uh, families uh, been a great place uh, for people to recreate and encourage people to sign up for the remaining swim lessons that are still open and any other uh, uh, activities that they have down there yep, very good. Right. So at Caswell, yeah. um, the state high school softball tournament is back, correct? That's correct. We are excited to, to again host the state so the girls' state softball um, tournament. Um, 32 of the best teams in the yeah. state in all classes, quality softball. This is the best stuff in the state. Yeah, one of the largest economic impact, uh, actually the largest economic impact uh, generator for uh, Caswell during the summer is the uh, uh, state tournament, as well as the ability for North Mankato to showcase itself to uh, the state of Minnesota, demonstrate its, uh, its role as a regional and economic draw for sports tourism, uh, which we continue for approximately 25 weeks each, each summer. Yep. This will be the last year before all the improvements, too. So That's next year correct. it'll be bigger and better. Yeah. And exciting. yeah, we're excited about the improvements starting. Yeah. Those will be starting right after Labor Day. Yeah. So it's going to be, a, to your point, it'll be great for next year. And some improvements that folks will see earlier than that are up at the soccer fields. Uh, July 5th, or uh, shortly after their uh, summer season ends, uh, the uh, new turf field will be installed uh, in the next couple of weeks and uh, available for play this fall. Yep. And we're hoping to pack the stands there on, yeah. I think, September 25th. Yep. Um, to showcase our new our new turf field and yeah. all the all the updates to that facility as well for Caswell North Soccer, so we're excited to get those things going. Yeah. Also, changes coming to City Hall after the last weekend in June. What's happening right out front of uh, yeah. in the grass here? <laughs> well, you know it's pretty dry out there, and you'll notice the grass in front of City Hall is looking a little rough right now. But that is in preparation for our pollinator garden yeah. that's going in, and so. Um, if any of you are into pollinator gardens, you know that we have to get rid of the grass first. So that's uh, in the process of being done as we speak. Right. And then on the 26th of June, uh, the uh, University of Minnesota Extension yep. is coming down and they'll be uh, 
giving people a showcase on how to do a pollinator garden. Yeah. So we're excited to have them down and, and help uh, educate yeah. our citizens on what it takes to have a pollinator garden. And there's a bunch of things that are going on. With There'll that. actually be some plant sales and um, some samples for folks to take a look at if they want to deploy that type of use in their yard. So really a great, great opportunity for not only the city to partner with those who are supporting these efforts in establishing a prairie at, at City Hall, but also to provide education for uh, residents who are thinking about this type of improvement. Absolutely, you know, and, and uh, you know, it will beautify City Hall. Yeah. I think it's really going to be exciting to see how yeah. that comes in as yeah. it goes over the next few years. So yeah. perhaps we'll expand it, right? Exactly. You know. It'll be a great use of our space out front there. Right, and it will be a great education event for families, for adults mm -hmm. learning about that stuff, and there will also be kids' activities as well. Oh, good. Exactly, and we anticipate that the library will be participating in that in years mm -hmm. to come as, as people continue to have interest in pollinator gardens, and there'll just be another showcase yeah. opportunity for the library. You know, another change at City Hall that the council approved uh, last uh, last Monday is we are reopening uh, the meetings to the public. So I uh, want to thank Mayor Dean and the council for navigating the emergency uh, during the pandemic. I uh, thought you guys did a great job adjusting and uh, uh, to the electronic format and uh, managing the, you know, managing the meetings is a lot more, uh, there's a lot more to it than uh, meets the eye. And, and I think you do a really good job of making it not look that way on the camera. But um, no, so uh, public is well. Welcome back to all uh, advisory boards and meetings of the governing body, uh, just like it was pre-pandemic. Right. So we'll back our next meeting, which will be open to the public, is June 21st, and we encourage people to come down if they'd like to address anything with the council. Um, but they can still contact us by email and by phone, as they've all done throughout the pandemic. So yeah. we're good, but we're excited to have it open to the public again and get some interaction with folks. So we we'll look forward to getting all those things going. Yep. Great. Last thing to note is that the farmer's market also oh, yeah. kicked off last week. Um, so what's all happening there? So Monday's from 3 to 6 up at South Central. The farmer's market is on again. There's um, lots of vendors. There's still some room for vendors. There's quite a bit of space up there so we can take some more vendors. Um, and things will be starting to roll in as, as crops are getting going here. And, uh, you know, we're trying to provide entertainment and opportunity for people to get out there and, and do a little bit of uh, local shopping with our local yeah. farmers and such. So it's a great opportunity for everybody to get out there. Terrific fire starters for sale up there. So I would encourage people to stop by and look at all the products. Yeah, yep. there's quite a bit of the number of things up there. So people should yeah. get up there and take it yeah. out. Anything else to note for June? Oh, well, for June, no, but, you know, we are excited. <laughs> Fun days is coming. That's right. And so uh, that'll be the first full weekend after the 4th of July, the 7th through the 11th, I believe. Um, the parade is on for that Saturday, as usual. And, you know, it's going to be slightly different because we still have some concerns with the pandemic, especially with the kids. So there yeah. won't be the, the kitty parade and some of those <coughs> things. But we are looking forward to having a, our first community celebration and really kicking yeah. off the, uh, the season for um, the entire Mankato, North Mankato area. So yeah. that's going to be the first one we have open. Um, and so we're excited about getting that going. Yeah. And then later in June, on the 24th of, June of, excuse me, 24th of July, we'll be um, Blues on Belgrade. Yep. And that is open, again, going to be open yes. and up for the public. So we're excited about getting that going. So right. we're getting back to those quality of life events and Absolutely. the opportunity for people to get out of their houses and actually see their friends and neighbors again in person yeah. and, and uh, really enjoy the quality of things that we have in North Mankato that make it the beautiful place it is to live so. great well thank you guys for joining me here today happy reading with the yeah. summer reading program you better pick out a book it'll be a good well, you are a pretty voracious reader I though aren't you reader. you, you put am, down so. a few books a week yeah don't you? i read a couple books a week yeah. at least so that's good <laughs> some technical yeah. some fictional yeah. but there something every day so yeah. there you go there you go well thank you so much for being here thank you for joining us this has been the north mankato community update